The Su-75 Checkmate is a fifth-generation, single-engine light tactical advanced aerial combat aircraft being developed by Russian aircraft manufacturer Sukhoi. The designers used the scientific and technical groundwork involved in the development of the of Su-57E fifth-generation fighter. Many elements including the onboard systems and cockpit were adapted from the Su-57E aircraft, reducing the cost and increasing the maintenance efficiency. The basic power plant for Checkmate is the AL-41F1 engine, the same as that of the Su-57. The maximum combat load weight of the Checkmate is 7,400 kg, the practical ceiling is 16.5 km. Checkmate can carry, both, traditional strike weapons and small-sized drones. Among the advantages of the fighter, the developers include ease of operation, the ability to barrage in the air for a long time, quickly arrive in the area of the mission and quietly reach the distance of guaranteed destruction of the target. Checkmate is a multifunctional platform of a new generation, which is distinguished by the ability to adapt to the needs of a particular customer, low cost of operation and wide combat capabilities. Sukhoi used a modular approach in designing the Su-75, similar to that, widely used by automakers. Most of the components of the new aircraft are borrowed from the existing aircraft. The Su-75 is positioned on the market as a light tactical aircraft category aircraft, that is, it is a multipurpose light fighter. Despite the different class, the Su-75 and Su-57 models are not too far apart. The length of the checkmate is about 17.5 meters, the wingspan is 11.8 meters. For comparison, the length of the Su-57 is 20 meters, and its wingspan is 14 meters. Checkmate has a simpler tail and only one engine instead of two. The declared maximum speed is 2,200 km per hour, the flight range is 2,800 km. This is 1,000 km more than the F-16 and 1,700 km more than the F-35. Long flight range is provided by external fuel tanks. The combat radius is 1,500 km, 350 km more than that of the F-35. The Su-75 is completely unified with the Su-57 fighter, right down to the pilot training system. The Su-75 Checkmate combat aircraft features a logistics support system known as Matreshka. The artificial intelligence-enabled major onboard electronic equipment reduces the workload of the pilot by acting as a co-pilot. The intelligent support system continuously monitors the health of the important systems on the aircraft. Matreshka Logistical Support System allows to track the technical condition of the machine throughout its entire life cycle and plan preventive and repair work. The automated Matreshka system reduces the operational cost and increases the after-sales maintenance efficiency. It leverages predictive analytics to detect potential defects, thereby enhancing the readiness and availability of the fleet. The Checkmate is able to operate in combat as a single unmanned swarm, and can also work in conjunction with manned fighters and complement the heavy strike UAV's hunter. The stealth coefficient of the machine is 0.3, about the same as the F-22 Raptor and F-35. The Su-75 Checkmate is equipped with an advanced multiband passive detection system to neutralize the target without being detected. The aircraft is also equipped with an active phased array radar, APAR, to track the targets even in areas with severe electronic interference. The radar enables the aircraft to attack up to six aerial targets simultaneously and track up to 30 targets. The Su-75 Checkmate has already been popularly dubbed the Flying Kalashnikov Assault Rifle. It is very easy to prepare for a flight. The built-in 30mm aircraft cannon is designed for combat at minimum distances. It will be armed with air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles. In the future, 
the car will receive a hypersonic cruise missile with a launch range of about 700 kilometers, designed to destroy ground and sea targets. The Su-75 will be able to shoot back, to carry out missile launches in the opposite direction from the direction of flight. According to the developers, the cost per flight hour of the Su-75 is six to seven times lower than that of the F-35 and is comparable to the JAS-39 Gripen NG. According to Western experts, the flight hour for the Swedes is $4.5 to $8,000, for the F-35, it's $33 to $35,000. The cost of the machine itself is about $25 to $30 million, which is two to three times less than, for example, the American F-35. In the arsenal of weapons includes R-74M short-range air-to-air missile, 40 km, 8 kg warhead. R-77 medium-range air-to-air missile, 110 km, 22.5 kg. X-38 air-to-ground missile, up to 70 kilometers, up to 250 kilogram. Grammy one air-to-ground missile, up to 120 kilometers, 594 kilogram. X-58 USHKE anti-radar missile, up to 245 kilometers, 149 kilogram. Bomb with a laser homing head cab 250 LGE. 165 kg S8 unguided air to ground missile up to 4 km 3.6 kg S13 unguided air to ground missile up to 3 km 32 kg The first flight of the fighter is scheduled for 2023 and the start of mass production is scheduled for 2025 it is planned to produce the Su-75 in at least five versions, a carrier-based vehicle for aircraft carriers, an assault version with air-to-surface missiles, a two-seat combat trainer, a reconnaissance aircraft and a drone. The first export batch can be assembled in 2025 to 2026. Of the analogs on the market, only the Chinese J-20 is presented, which is intended purely for domestic use.